Hey guys, Mike from the Off Grid Shop here and today we're talking about Theta. Now last week we talked about Bitcoin mining and how to turn your excess solar into Bitcoin. We'll go some more deep dives and stuff like that. If you're an Off Grid customer and you're really interested in, you know, want to get involved in the industry and Bitcoin mining and things like that, Off Grid, these ASIC miners, I'll give you a look here. Um, so basically these ASIC miners pull a ton load of power. They pull about 2,500, 3,000 watts. We've got a couple here at work, uh, at our business, commercial, Three phase power, you know, we yeah, we, we use a lot of power using these things. Wouldn't recommend it for off grid. If you're an off grid customer and you really want to get involved and say, hey, look, I'd love to own some Bitcoiners, go check these guys here at the miningstore.com.au. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, these guys actually host these miners. So, you, you know, they're somewhere overseas, they put them in a room, all cooled, controlled, that sort of stuff, and they're just sending an electricity bill and it gets mined directly to your wallet. So, there's something you're interested in. Yeah, you can get in touch with these guys, but off-grid wouldn't recommend it. So today we'll be talking about Theta token and why this is so important in an off-grid situation. Now, I'll give you a quick overview of what Theta is and why off-grid you can actually use it to create a bit of an income on the side. Right now it's not a huge amount of income. Uh, I make about 90 US cents a day um, from one of my Theta Edge nodes, so it's not huge. And it's not really widely adopted at the moment. I'll basically explain what it is. So what Theta does, Theta is that if you think about the last mile delivery service, so what it does, it actually, they've got some few patents and things like that. They actually take your bandwidth. So you download a program on your computer, and this is how you mine data token. They use your bandwidth, and for using your excess bandwidth to help broadcast high definition videos, so for live streams and videos of really good quality, mainly live streams was more about. They pay you to use your energy at home and your computing power to use your, your, your actually excess bandwidth. The good thing about it is most of it's actually using your uploads. So it's not really using your downloads, it's more using your uploads to help boost the quality of internet. So it's that last mile delivery service. So it's, it's a real game changer to me. Now if you think about, I'll just flick down the screen here. Um, so YouTube as an example, use YouTube, they're a centralized service, you get a whole bunch of servers in a big room and all the, all the content stored on those servers. Now the way Theta do it, I don't know exactly how all the data and stuff is recorded, but they've got a few servers around the world that have the data on it. Then they have these Guardian nodes and Edge nodes, and the Edge nodes is more, or Guardian nodes, we actually own a Guardian node here at work as well, but we're more talking about the Edge nodes today. If you're in an off-grid situation, you can have an Edge node in your home, it uses hardly an energy, it just takes, you know, uses your computer, desktop computer, you probably want a bit of a decent computer. Have a look on the website, they'll tell you the stats and data and things like that. They'll just use your excess bandwidth and your computer power. And if you're off grid, you're not paying for your energy because you're really paid for all that stuff up front. It's going to use a little bit of your computing power to help broadcast live, live streams. So what they're doing is the more people around the world that have these edge nodes, they call them, downloaded on their computers, the faster it's going to make internet, basically, to watch live streams and things like that. And I think live stream TV, to me, there's so many more things. We've started some live streams at work. Um, so many more customers are really enjoying live streams from us as a business. And there's so many more people doing live streams these days. So I think it's a it's the way of the future. Now with these edge nodes, give you a quick just overlook. I suppose for ours, it's pretty simple. It's just a program you download on your computer. It doesn't take up much space. Now they're a peer-to-peer -peer service. So if we really wanted to, between you and I, we could actually watch a video without having to go through anyone else. A centralized service. We could actually just use the Theta Edge node, and I can broadcast to you, and we can just use our internet and bandwidth. We don't require to go to a centralized system. The other thing what they're really looking for why an off-grid customer and you know if you've got off-grid and that reliable power, they're looking for people that actually have uptime so that reliability is on all the time, it doesn't fail because you know these guys are trying to really provide a service to people that really good quality live streaming videos. So they're looking for people with reliable power where it's up all the time, which is pretty cool. So in a blackout, you know, if everyone else has got a blackout and you got a theta edge node, you're probably gonna be helping boost that network. So it's pretty big, yeah. If you look at the companies that are involved in this in the back end, Google, Sony, Samsung, Binance, Blockchain. Um, most of these three, most of you guys would know about. So in Samsung TVs and phones these days, the Theta app's actually gonna be on there. Google, they're actually the owner of YouTube. So you can see people that have been watching live streams in the future, they're gonna be using the Theta technology for YouTube live streaming. So, you know, 
people are going to go to YouTube and watch a live stream and they're not even going to know they'll be using the Theta product but it's going to be integrated within YouTube which is pretty cool. Um, Binance is an exchange. They're one of the world's largest cryptocurrencies exchanges. There's a link down below if you want to set up an account with Binance and how to get yourself stuff, stuff like that. So you're going to want, you know, with cryptocurrencies get paid. So go set yourself up a Binance account using the link below. Get yourself a wallet address. Then you can set yourself your edge node up on your Theta. Uh, you can also download a Theta wallet as well. They do do one. Uh, with a Theta wallet, you're pretty much just holding the cryptocurrency there. You can't do anything with it. On the Binance exchange, if you want to turn it into dollars, you can turn it into dollars and take that money out and put it in your bank account. So um, yeah, the link below to set that up. So yeah, so as an example, I'll give you an example of Theta being used in the real world. Now the World Poker Tournament was just shot on it and why Theta is so big. Now if you're a sports person, I love using this poker, I'm not really into poker, but I love using this analogy and how it all works. The way Theta works is they're broadcasted on this and because it's a the NFT platform, and I'll put some links down below to go research that sort of stuff. An NFT is basically, as an example, like a card. Like a, If you collected football cards or baseball cards or something like that as a kid, you can collect these NFTs from these poker, co poker competitions and Theta have just done a big release. Why games are getting played, you're gonna be able to gift. So say for example in poker, your favorite player was paying and they run out of cash, you know, they could go, hey, can I get a crowdfund from a mate? So if you're a supporter of that player, you would be able to tip in live online while watching him using the Theta network to give this guy some money. So from a sports point of view, live sports are gonna be on this, lots of cards, so players during games and things like that, they could give stuff away to fans. So rather than, you know, you have to go down and buy your, gift, your baseball cards and stuff like that from the shop, it's all gonna be done online. So some really cool stuff about it. So yeah, I'm a big believer of Theta, how it's gonna change the world. In an off-grid situation, it uses very low energy, so you can mine a token and make some money out of it. So yeah, so it's a pretty cool little product. Any questions, guys, just whack in the comments down below. I will put some links down. If you really want to know more details about, I'm not going to go into how to validate nodes and things like that. That's not what I do. Uh, for us, it's all about here the energy efficiency. It's a low energy product that you can install on a computer at home in an off-grid situation and help make a little bit extra income. So I'll put some links down below if you really understand about validator nodes and some really good YouTube channels I've followed over the years that have um, given me some really good information about Theta and how it all works. So appreciate it, guys. And yeah, I said down below, let's get a conversation going and we can talk there. Thanks and have a great day.